All right, this is YBR with Ill Bleed. It has been a requested game by somebody, so I'm gonna do at least a gameplay video for it. And if people like it, it can be a full let's play. Here's the intro for it. For as long as I can remember, my family ran what we called a horror caravan. We hauled this house of horrors around from town to town trying to give people a new thrill, a new nightmare. I kind of like traveling, but all that gruesome gore got to me after a while. My dad was always conjuring up new devices, tricks, and traps, each one scarier than the last. <laughs> Guess who he tried them out on? Yep, me. No! I guess it toughened me up a little. I mean, you have to be brave to walk through a den of snakes or try to avoid trap doors to make it to your room. I was a pretty fearless kid by the time I was five, thanks to my fearsome father. He fed on others' fears and was never satisfied. My mom couldn't stand how obsessed he'd gotten, so she thankfully divorced him when I was six. Yet I had gotten attached to horror. I remember how that good old Halloween pillow and a hot red water bath soothed me. I think I might major in child psychology. Hmm, hmm because you want somebody like her teaching your children. So, how'd I do? That was great! I mean, you're the head of the Horror Research Club and... President of the Student Council! It's a given! You win this speech contest for sure! Hey everybody! You gotta see this! What, Michelle? Why didn't you listen to Erico's speech? I don't need to! I know she'll win! Here, take a look at this! Those are guest invitations to Illbleed. How'd you get them? From a Pepco promotion. Cool! Look, we can win a hundred million bucks there! Yeah, if we can manage to get through the whole park, that is. No sweat! I'm game if you are! Sure thing! I'm with ya! <laughs> what about you, Erico? I think I'll pass. It sounds too good to be true. Why? You just said in your speech to conquer your fear and surpass the odds. Come on, we can test your theory. Sounds like we're trying to be superheroes or something. It's no biggie. It's just a house of horrors. Probably full of cheesy props and gags. Which proves what's so weird about this. How can a funky place like that afford a hundred million dollar reward? Who knows? Maybe they'll make it take so long to get through it, everyone will give up, go home, and the horror honchos will end up with a lot of free publicity. Or else the whole thing is a hoax, and they don't have the money at all. I agree with him. I'm down with that. I'm not voting. Or going. For real? Are you positive? You sure? Yep, you heard me. Okay, your highness. Then we three humble slaves shall bring back the 100 million dollars and you'll be sorry. I can't wait to commune with the undead. I'd use the money for a chainsaw and hack my way into fame and fear. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, brother. Okay then. We'll catch you later, Erico. Let's, Let's go! go! Okay, 100 million dollar chainsaw? What? Like, saw blades that are diamond tip are cheaper than that, literally. I don't get that. Oh, but they dropped the ticket. You pick it up. Oh, Ill Bleed. And one thing I gotta point out, right there, the, like, the font of Ill Bleed, it damn near matches perfect to that on the VMU. And if you don't know what a VMU is, it's this crazy thing with the Dreamcast. You should look it up, because I can't, you can't explain it with words if you've never heard of a Dreamcast. So a few days later, they all went. You didn't, because you, you scared. I scared. So this is a horror game. And it, there's one part where it's, it's scary. No lie.
Excuse me, did you see three high school kids around here three days ago? They had special invites. What? <laughs> Alright, so he tells you which way to go. He reminds me a lot of me. Just a lot like me. Except blood covered. I'm not usually blood covered. Just very rarely. Usually it's my own blood. And no, it's not emo shit. It's because I have terrible sinus system that gives me lots of nosebleeds. Fuck you thinking. I don't know emo person. I'm fucking happy. Uh, oh, I'm back at the... What happened? Dreamcast? What'd you do? Uh, I'll get in the game when I can. I did say my Dreamcast was finicky, didn't I? Uh, that's never happened before, so that's new. The idea, however, here is that you need to go the direction that guy said. So that's up here. And through the cemetery. Uh, it's the tutorial level. You don't need to do it. But I highly suggest it unless you actually read the entire manual. And even if you do the tutorial, I still say read the manual some because if you don't read the manual, you will be confused. Uh, one thing I gotta point out that's kinda saddening for me is the way I'm gonna do this. It's not saddening necessarily, but it's just I gotta point it out. But first, we'll get through the tutorial. Welcome to Illbleed. I'm Michael Reynolds. I'll show you the most important thing for you to survive. Please go forward and to the right. Uh, I had a, a whole hour and a half video gameplay of this or so of recording. It was like hour 15 minutes recorded, and turns out my capture card screws or my capture software screws up after an hour. So I had to scrap that whole thing, and this is a uh, try number two. Uh, I concealed the horror monitor where you stand now. All of your four senses on screen are proof of the item. When the sensors reach their peak, press the A button to obtain the horror monitor. So, you see the sensors all freaking out. Somewhere around here is a horror monitor. You just click A and tell it's like, oh, it's this tombstone. And you pick them up. So that's the horror monitor. What it does will be explained in one second. Here we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this game until either I die or I get through the first level. Probably going to be I die because... Usually I die. By pressing the R trigger, you can use the horror monitor. Take a look at the tombstone behind you with it. There may be something hidden there when it zooms in. Place a warning mark there and press the A button. So, you go there. Boom. There's also one over here. Uh, I can't quite reach it though, so I gotta rotate a bit. There we go. And there's one there. We can go boom. And then adrenaline goes down. So nothing's at either of these tombstones. See, nothing special found. It's just teaching you how to use it. Alright, next is over here, lesson four. You should avoid damaging shock events during attractions by warning the area before approaching. The adrenaline gauge in the lower left-hand corner will decrease each time you use the horror monitor. So as I said, that decreases, but it's alright. Right here, you get so, you just, you're just teaching you, so you got a lot of it and stuff, so you have no worries. Next is the last lesson. When your sixth sense is active, it means that there may be an item or enemies nearby. I hate items beneficial to you. Go get them and use them wisely. Good luck. So what you do is you just see the sixth sense going off. So you just run around, tap in the A button until you can find the items that are hidden around here. The nice thing is these ones, they don't have the there's nothing here. Usually you'd have a there's nothing here if there's nothing there. But all these ones, it's just only the items. So that's as far as the tutorial goes, really. Still quite confusing as far as I'm concerned, but that's okay because, like I said, if you're going to play this, read the manual. It really is an essential thing to understand what's going on. Or how to play it, I guess. To go, what's going on, that's, that's explained, but how to play it, that, that's confusing. So now we go to here, which is the levels. Uh, up there we got a thing that says... Something funny I noticed uh, right there. It says a maximum of $10,000. It's kind of hard to read because I'm a little far away, but $10,000. So here's the first level. You walk up to it. And do you want to enter? Yes. All right, so remember $10,000. Now you go here. It tells you the intro, and then it says $50,000. Just watch. You play a sport, a game, knowing full well that you're going to either win or lose. 
You never expect to die before your dreams come true. Neither did Jimmy or his father, Gail Banbalo, a Minnesota innkeeper. He set up a secret baseball practice arena in the basement of his inn, where he and his son practiced day after day. Jimmy's hard work and batting skills finally led his team to a state victory. It started out a crisp spring day, but before Jimmy could go outside to play, he and his dad went downstairs to bat the ball around a few times. Upstairs, some teenagers had been playing with fire, turning the inn into a raging blaze. Typo. Soon out of control. The fire. The inn was a total loss, and so was Jimmy, burned in minutes. Mr. Banbala was so badly maimed, he turned into a hideous monster, oozing and bleeding, snarling and growling like a beast, enraged and bent on revenge. He tracked down the kids responsible for the fire and killed them one by one with a blowtorch. That wasn't enough for Bambalo. He won't leave his inn or his memories, so there he waits in ambush. I love the with a blowtorch. This is it's perfect. Uh, I, I shouldn't have talked over the part where it was a typo, but I just tried to point it out so you wouldn't have to rewind. Uh, instead of playing with fire, it's playing with the fire. However, that's not consistent throughout the level. Uh, well, I'll get at least far enough to show off the inconsistency there. So the challenge, your mission is to calm the anger of Bonbalo. His only weakness is Jimmy. Though he is mad, he is quickly he quickly drops his guard when he thinks of Jimmy. Memories of Jimmy is the key to the mission. All right. So still not quite sure what's going on, but look at this this 50,000. It said 10,000, but it's 50. Don't know why. Who knows? All right, so only character you could choose is Eriko, so we're gonna choose Eriko. Eventually, you unlock more characters after you do levels, but now we don't. So the first thing you do, you hear, it's like, all right, something's going on. So usually you'd use your your horror monitor, but you don't have them. So you just you got you're on your own, and no matter what, you're gonna get smacked by that and bleed everywhere. It doesn't do much to you though, so it's it's okay. The game under the game knows it's unavoidable, so it makes it a very minor thing. So the first thing you always want to do is find the horror monitor. Over here is where they are. You see everything's going off. So they're right here. Supposedly, according to the manual, you could find it by looking at the map, but I never had much luck doing that. The only way I found it was uh, running around aimlessly until, oh, everything's going crazy. It must be over here. All right, so after that, you can uh, go over here, and there's some items you can grab. First one's right here. It's all good. And then here is the first thing that will attack you. Uh, depending on which direction you go that you can avoid it's that side actually uh, oop, it's random it's partially random so yeah it was on that side that time it's cool got me screwed up already all right so six senses going off so there's an item around here not there though not there there it is some gauze wrap good stuff all right so that's picked up I'm gonna keep walking just a little bit longer just because when you run, when you have bleeding, it's bad. So just don't do that usually. It should be another item right around here. Yep. Deep breath. It's an item to take a deep breath. Amazing. Bleeding is just about gone. Alright, there we go. Now we could run again. Another item, some sixth sense around here. Eh, I don't know where that one is. Uh, there's a good amount of items around here, but I don't know where that one is, so... We don't need every item. I just try to grab the ones I can. Alright, so right here, sight's going off. For, so here's something you gotta avoid. This one's not random like the other ones. That one's always there in the same exact spot. But the other one, like which of those puddles attacks you, it's of multiple possibilities. So a lot of the things are randomized. A few aren't. So... The ghost of Bonbala looking for Jimmy. All right, so if you go over here, something is for smell. So you can just pull out your thing and just start marking things. For smell, it's actually the soda, I'm pretty sure. So I'm just going to mark it and hope that's it. Yep. When that happens, that means you mark the correct thing and it will not attack you. However, 
When the blue thing doesn't disappear, it means you marked the wrong thing and just about wasted your stuff. I mean, you're safe, but you wasted the, uh, your adrenaline, which kind of sucks, because it's a limited supply, to some extent. Alright, so here, hearing is going off, so you look around at what your things are. Like, what could be affected by hearing? Newspapers? No. That's kind of small to see, but that is a phone. Yeah, phones make good sense for hearing, so you can mark that, walk up to it, and it does not negatively affect you. So here are some newspapers you can pick up. It gives you some backstory, just slightly more detail than you already know, mostly. So this is some information on the Chateau Bonballo. It's saying, youngsters, come join us. It opens today. Youth Hostel Chateau Bonballo opens today, a place where the young can gather. Owner Mr. Bonballo says with enthusiasm, I want the chateau to be a utopia for teenagers. The hostel, an excellent laser facility surrounded by nature as an excellent laser facility. Laser facility. So I said that wrong because this is a funny phrase. Like, just read that. The hostel, an excellent leisure facility surrounded by nature as an excellent leisure facility. What? Uh, it just repeats itself, but in a grammatically incorrect way. What's up with that? Alright, so sight's going off, but I won't worry about that quite yet. We're going to go ahead and go over here and get the next newspaper. This one's number two. Pops it up and reads it for you. Fire at Chateau Bombar claims the life of owner and son. Fire broke out last night in the annex of Chateau Bombar. Jimmy, eight, son of Mr. Bombar, 41, died of severe burns. Improper use of fireworks by guests alleged the cause of the fire. So I'm not sure if it's supposed to be just like a play on newspapers being incorrect. But it says fireworks were the cause when the other one just says they were playing with fire. So it may be one of them, maybe the earlier one was supposed to be they were playing with fireworks. I mean, as you saw, it was already a mistranslation in it. So that's a possibility, obviously. All right, there was nothing there. There was something there. And there's an item here-ish, I think. Yep. Some more gauze. Uh, there's a lot of items to pick up, and usually you should just grab as many as you can. You don't need to, but this level, more so than others, I think this one has a lot of extra items just because it is the first, so they don't want to make it too hard on you. I'm walking. You can run, but I like walking a lot of the time. Otherwise, I just end walking, stopping, walking, stopping. So smell's going off. Light bulb's probably not going to be smell. The bottom of the doorway? Yeah, sure. I mean, it'll lock onto upper doorways too sometimes, but bottom of doorway like smell could ooze out of that sure that kind of makes sense so you could just mark that and move up again smell is going off so you could look over at the door and that one there we go the one's actually at the upper doorway so i don't think that'll be it i think it'll be what i need to get is probably the next doorway but oh well maybe it's not oh it wasn't see i wasn't sure if smell was the upper doorway one or not because i think there is a variance all right so sight could be really any of these so you're better you're good you're good just uh marking all of the light bulbs just mark them all one of them's gonna have something which one it is seems oh the door got me all right so that's just one of those things that gets you that one physically attacks you so your health lowers and you start to bleed all right uh, whoops, wrong button, excuse me. So now that you're bleeding and stuff, you can pull up the menu, you can see your stats exactly. If you need to, you could drink some soda, which will help you, or you could use some of the gauze we found to stop the bleeding. I'm not going to worry about that quite yet, but I will eventually, don't worry. I'm not going to just let my person bleed to death. Again, if you're bleeding, you want to walk, you don't want to run. So we just got to take our time and get to where I need to go. Alright, so something for sight. This time it'll probably be a light bulb again. <laughs> Alright, there we go. That time it was a light bulb. So I got some of the adrenaline back, which is good. Right, so you keep on walking. I don't think you can mark it, but yeah. I never actually tried to mark it, but around this corner there's something. You can avoid it if you want. Because there's really nothing there. So... That's not though, because you know you wouldn't usually be you wouldn't usually know to avoid it. So here it is. There's an enemy that attacks you. You could try attacking them back, but all you can do is slap them, and it really doesn't do much damage. So what you have to do is just bring them away from that H, the H, right? That's that usually is like a helicopter, right? Uh, yeah, it is a helicopter actually. So there's a helicopter 
that drops a ladder through the ceiling of the building and has a shadow. Hey, hurry up. Ow. What you just need to do is you just need to run around and call the helicopter ladder down and then you jump on it and you can escape. I don't know how it works, but you end up in the exact same spot. Uh, I am a little more hurt. That's why I was holding off on using the gauze and stuff. Now I'll go ahead and use it. Just because it'd be pointless because I would need to use it again. So we're just going to do that. And then you could drink some of the Hassy sodas, which restore some health. Uh, we could do both. There we go. And now we're pretty much good for stats. Alright, so we can continue on. Smells going off. Smell could be any of these lockers leaking stuff. As far as I know, there's no real way to know which one it is. So I'm going to mark all of them. It was that one. And then none of these ones are marked with anything. So, we could look at them to see if there's anything to find in them. And in this case, there's a band-aid, which could be used for bleeding. So you move up some more. There's something for smell and hearing. Alright, for hearing, an alarm makes sense. Smell, really, it, you don't know which that is for sure. So, what I do is I just mark all those sinks. Sometimes there are other things for smell besides the sinks. So, let's figure out. Alright, so the smell is somewhere else. Oh no, that was it. I just managed to walk by it somehow. Alright, whatever. Okay. And then hearing is over here. But, it's safe. So we can continue on. Sight's going off, so you can just pop in here, look around. Some blood and a leg. Yeah, that has potential to scare you. The funny thing is, if you mark it, they wiggle. If you don't, they wiggle a little bit more. Cool. A dead guy just started wiggling and jumping about. Cool. <laughs> what? That's not cool. That's fucking scary as shit. Alright, so there's one for smell and one for sight. Uh, can't tell which one is for what. Uh, for the smell, but for sight, that's over there. So you can... Look at that giant hand misses you most things don't have like a uh, you dodge this animation that one does so it's cool you know I agree cool smell I managed to just walk right by it's one of the showers but I don't know which so now we can move up and we're gonna actually run because we can and we're just gonna run to the safe spot and save real quick because I don't know how stable my Dreamcast is after it did that thing at the start. So I just want to get through and save. I know there are no enemies here from experience. That's why I'm running through it. So we're just going to run over here. And there's a dummies photo box. Which is used for saves. So we can save right here. And I'm going to take a pause in this recording as well. Because I need to... I'm going to just let my Dreamcast run for a half hour. And see if it crashes before I continue on. So sorry about that. Alright, it's been about 25 minutes or so, Dreamcast is still running, so we're going to go ahead and continue on. Uh, the area I ran through, we're going to backtrack because there are some very important items there. And when I say very important, I mean... I fucking mean it, that's all you need to know. Uh, the first one is the least important of them. It is the Iron Heart, which is an upgrade for your person. We can deal with those later. Next up is the Item Finder, uh, Item Sensor. I'll probably reference it as an item finder because I forget that's the proper name. Now, all the items in the area have those white dots on them. So instead of kind of just like rubbing around looking for items, you can look at the thing, say, all right, the item is right here, and you just click to find it. So this one, home run bat, huge item. Huge. If you don't have this, you literally cannot win this level. Jimmy, it's time for practice. Get out to the training field now. Hey, you're not Jimmy. Jimmy, Jimmy. So I don't know what's up with the bat doing that, but that is Jimmy's bat before he died. Uh, it's more, it's implied at the moment, but it is fact. Okay, I don't know where that sight's coming from. I never actually had an encounter in this area before. 
So we're just gonna go around that edge just so I don't encounter anything. And there should be an item or two around here. Yeah, there's some nitroglycerine. And we got some steak dinner found in a locker. Mmm, delicious. Alright. So, one thing I'm surprised is like, I'm surprised running doesn't up your heart rate. Just running around ups my heart rate. Shit. Alright, so this hall is dangerous. We're gonna walk it just to be safe. I wonder. Alright, I'm done. I just wanted to check one thing about my stats. It was how much uh, adrenaline I had, that's all. Alright, so here we go. One thing I can't believe I was too dense to realize is that's a face to the left of all those bars. Alright, so Sixth Sense is going off. There is no item really here. So that means it's going to be an enemy probably, which is bad news. If I do that, I don't get as shocked from the initial appearance of the enemy. So now, we have a baseball bat. However, I do suck at fighting. So what you do is you just hit them with the baseball bat, run around a bit, swing the baseball bat some more, run around, and repeat until they die. My usual method is uh, run away, start swinging, and let them hit the bat, like let them run into the bat. So I go like, run over here, start swinging, and they got me there actually, but run away, swing. See, usually you don't want to do a three swing because it seems like you always fuck yourself over by doing a three swinger. Uh, there we go, he's dead. That was actually a really decent fight for me. Like the horror elements and the exploring elements I don't have much trouble with. Where I always struggle is the fights. There are, there are a couple of fights that really worry me about my ability to be able to do them. So, when we get to those, we'll see. Like I said, if I die, that's the end of the video. Uh, if I make it to the level, that's the end of the video. It could be an hour and a half long, really. In all honesty, if I really just take my time doing it to make sure I'm safe. But, we'll just see what happens, you know? Right, so, heart rate does slowly go down over time. And since I do take my time so much, I never really have to worry about managing my heart rate much. Oh, there's an encounter. So what happened was, because I didn't mark it, my heart rate jumped, like, by almost 20, I want to say. Since there's two enemies here, they will hurt each other if you run around enough and dodge them. It's really not a real good strategy. Ow. See, what happens, though, sometimes you'll get juggled. You'll get stuck in between them, and they'll juggle you, which is terrible. These guys are supposed to be like uh, mannequins or crash test dummies. I forget which. I know the the big enemy is supposed to, are definitely crash test dummies. I want to say these guys are considered mannequins though, the easier ones. Maybe they're not. I'm not really sure on that. All right, so there we go. We get some more adrenaline, and we can go ahead and let's see. Oops, wrong button. Sorry about that. I'm thinking about if I have a soda, I'll go ahead and drink it. Otherwise, I'll wait up. Uh, yeah, soda heals like 40-ish, I think it was. 40, yeah, 40. So I'll go and use that. Bleeding is only 12. Uh, I won't worry about bleeding unless it passes 20 usually. Since I only walk all the time, I don't have to worry about it much. If I ran, I would have to worry about it because running is bad for your bleeding. Alright, nothing found. There's an item right here probably. There we go. Injection. Uh, I haven't said what those are for because... Uh, I don't know. Uh, what those ones do is they increase your adrenaline. So when you mark too much stuff and you can't mark anything more, you just pop one of those needles and inject up, man. And you're good to go. So just careful, careful, careful. Here is a kind of a hard place, really. There's a bunch of things you got to mark out for. I think there's something around this corner, too, I couldn't get to. Right here. Just mark all the things you possibly can here for me. Cool. So that's good. Alright, that's an enemy encounter. Great. This is a different enemy type. Uh, they move slow, so they're really actually easy if you play it smart. 
If you never attack more than twice, you basically can easily kill him without getting hurt. However, I have a bad habit of attacking three times. But if you do attack three times, it knocks him onto the ground sometimes. So you got a trade-off. What a rough trade-off. Cool. I just killed a zombie thing. Cool. Alright, so we can go ahead and walk up some more. Another thing, keeping myself safe. Very important stuff. And sight and smell are going off, so we can mark that, mark that, mark that. Just mark everything. Because I know where the smell is, but I'm not sure where the sight is. Okay, that was the smell. And then sight, I guess, is just a door. Okay, good. And let's pop up my thing, and there's uh, two items here. Looks like one is about here. Some salad, that's good stuff. Healthy. And the other thing, on this bloody table, look at that bloody, in, looking directly at a stack of bloody dishes, you find a steak dinner. Delicious. Alright, so here we go. Cool. I didn't get attacked. That's cool. Right, so we move up some more. Something's going off for sight. So you can go ahead and pop in. The only time this actually happens is right here. The fan will get you. This thing kind of has like a locking mechanism to help you find what will attack you, which is nice actually. So every now and then it will become a pain, but 90% of the time it's good. Alright, so sight is going off. That should be there-ish. I won't usually actually go here, but it's just to make sure I know where, where everything is. Alright, good. So here we go. We bring up the items finder. Well, it's just the map, but it has item finder. There's an item on the desk. We could pop, grab it. And there we go. Newspaper clipping three. Mass homicide at Chateau Bonballo. Owner Mr. Bonballo mysteriously disappeared. Mercilessly murdered bodies were found at Chateau Bonballo. Burned. All identified as young guests. Mr. Bonballo. I suck at saying that. Hit their name. I'm sorry. The hotel owner is missing. Details are still under investigation. Mr. Bonballo's diary was found at the site. Hatred directed towards the guest who caused the fire filled the pages. The state police are searching for their suspect, Mr. Bonballo. Alright, so then there's a couple more items around here. One of which is extremely important once again. There are three extremely important items in this level. And this is one of them. You really could just walk right by it if you didn't know it. The item finder is a huge help. But just finding the item finder is not actually easy, uh, ironically. I guess. Not ironically, but it's just kind of funny. The item finder is hard to find. If only I had an item finder for my item finder to find my item finder or something. You know, something weird like that. Not ironic, but just funny. So we can go through this door. And here we are at this new area. Actually, I want to say I might have missed one item here. What did I? Oh, no, I got them all. Alright, never mind. Carry on. Pop up the map here. You want to go straight, not right. You can look, obviously. Oh, oh it's a dead end. I don't think we go there. So you can hear here, it should be a, yep, item, coagulant, it's good for stopping bleeding. Very good, actually, I think it's one of the best things for stopping bleeding. So you can continue on. Nothing's going off, shouldn't have been any items that I missed. Just in case, yeah, there's nothing. Alright, in this room, there is a lot of stuff. We're gonna head to the bathroom first and uh, pick up some of the stuff in here. This thing is great, but it's a one-time use thing. It basically, anything around you, oh, that could get you. Hey, that's Bonballo. Uh, kind of spoiler. But that's him. That really just scares the crap out of you, that's all. Thankfully, like I say, heart rate usually isn't too big of a concern for me. So that's all good for me, really. Right, so I got all the items around here. How much adrenaline? Oops, wrong button again. I gotta stop doing that. I keep hitting the menu and that button mixed up. Uh, how much adrenaline do I have? 188, that's really not much. So I'm going to do is I'm going to walk into here just barely, pull up the menu and use that thing I just picked up. Because this is another one of those places where I sometimes have some trouble. Or had some trouble, I should just say. Uh, here it is, caution bomb and yes. So now everything in this room that could get you has now been deactivated. So That's nice. Nothing there after all. See? And in the end, this also helps you recover the, the um, what you call it, the adrenaline. And something I'm just thinking about right now is, uh, what exactly is this place? A hostel for kids, right?
All right, so it's some beds and some TVs. There's two beds a room. And what exactly are the kids supposed to be doing here? I'm not saying they're fucking, but uh, they're probably fucking. All right, so I'll pop into here. Sights going off. Grab that. Go ahead and do whatever is over here. Just do it all. I have some to blow. And that should hopefully get sight. Oh yeah, there's growling here and I don't know why. Don't know what's up with that. That thing I, is just so utterly random. But there's growling here. Which actually frightens me slightly. There's, as far as I know, there's really nothing that'll attack you, but it's it's there and it's frightening. So somewhere there's an item or an enemy. We pull up the map. There's an item in the bathroom. But if it's going off over this far away, I don't think it's in the, uh, the item. It's an enemy. Since I marked that area, I can really just walk around that. If I get closer to it, an enemy will probably spawn. Alright, so then let's see it pop up the map again. So whatever items in the bathroom, it gets avoided for now. Because for me, like I said, the part I struggle with the most is the fights. Alright, so sight's going off. So you can see it. Obviously, it's the dead body in the middle of the floor, right in the hallway center. Really obvious. Just, oh, I think it's the dead body. And again, the funny thing is, is like, they jump up and shit. But it's like, oh, that's not that bad. They just barely jumped up. In fact, it was cool. She's crazy. I mean, I'd be scared that the body moved at all, but for her, it's just like, as long as it doesn't move too much, it's cool. Alright. All right, there shouldn't be anything more in this hall, so I'll just run it. And then in here, there's sometimes some things, so we'll go slow. There's going to be some items I could pick up. We'll just kind of look around. There's diary number one. So this is actually written by him. Hotel business is on track. Had intensive batting exercise with Jimmy in the basement again. Batting style seems improved. Chin still going up when he swings. We'll practice again tomorrow. We'll try 1,000 swings. Chin did not go up today. Good job, Jimmy. That's the swing. Minnesota Kids League final tomorrow. Eat protein-rich food tonight. You'll need a lot of energy. Papa will get you up at 4 tomorrow to make a special drink for you. Do your best, Jimmy. Uh, totally unrelated, but that's like the exact opposite I would want to do. Like, when I play a sport, it's like, I gotta sleep as much as I can, so I'm as well-rested and grit as ever. And then, there's some, a I just thought of this, like, now I'm thinking, okay, somewhere in some anime, I'm pretty sure there's a theme where there's a baseball player who's tired and couldn't catch the ball. I think it was tired. Angel Beats! Uh, don't know, I don't know, I'm pretty sure it was Angel Beats. 90% sure. Uh, Angel Beats has that theme. Just something I thought about. Back to this. Uh, we won the championship. Jimmy hit the winning homer. He is the MVP. Congratulations, Jimmy. I can't help shedding my tears of joy. So I can't remember if he just passed out in Angel Beats or if he was sleepy. Uh, but I know it's there. I'll confirm all interest in the restaurant. Guest may ask, Mr. Bonbao, who's that? Oh, that's Jimmy. He was chosen NVT in the boys' league. It's a thrill just to think about it. I shall treat the guests with barbecue tonight. With barbecue. Now, I don't know if this is intentional or not. But uh, just remember this. I shall treat the guest with barbecue tonight. Normally, they'd be with a barbecue, you would think. Just grammatically. So, we'll just remember that. Who do you think the home run king is this year? It's Jimmy! All because you endured my hard training. You've done well, Jimmy. Your trophy in yellow is magnificent. Let's place it in our bedroom in yellow so we can see it every day. Jimmy, keep hitting and fill this chateau with your records and trophies. Let's go, Jimmy. Okay. So, six cents is still going out, so there's some items around here. There's one of them. Pop up the map real quick to find where the other ones are located. Alright, so there's two along this wall. So we can go ahead and just hug the wall just to be as safe as possible. Something's going up for hearing. Hopefully I'll be able to dodge it. Just, there we go. Hug the wall, dodging it. And then we just backtrack out of here. Perfectly safe. Which honestly surprises me. Uh, usually you get attacked. Alright, so again, something for six cents. If you remember the map, there was two things along this wall as well. One of them is a soda, which will heal you some. The other thing is the trophy. 
So yeah, I just grabbed his trophy. Thief in the trophy. Six cents is going off, so there's another item. Uh, there's actually two over here. Two of them. One of them's actually not here. It just appears to be it. Alright, this is diary number two. Oh, Jimmy, you are now gone. Papa will treasure your bat in yellow. So it's an essential item. The one you practice with and hit the winning homer with. Now I curse the fate hateful youngsters holding that bat. Bastards, why did my beloved Jimmy have to be killed with such impec imbeciles? Papa will avenge your death. It's weird that there's like quotation marks at the end of it or something. I'm not sure what they're supposed to be. I'll kill all you lurking around. I'll do it for you, Jimmy. Except he won't. Because there's obviously other people lurking around. So here, unavoidable encounter. I should have marked it. I totally forgot to. And see, you're getting the jump on. They're almost juggling me, which is terrible. So we're just going to run around. We're a little bit of distance. Swing twice. Run some. They hit each other. Swing twice. Take advantage of it. R a little bit of distance. Swing twice. Run. Distance. Swing twice. Run. And just repeat, basically. Like I said, I suck at this part so bad. Hit three times because I was pretty sure it would kill him. Just totally random guess, and I was right, thankfully. I still got hit because I did the three swings, so it didn't really benefit me much. Him, again, I wasn't so lucky, and now he's just getting me. He's just getting me. I gotta get some space. There we go. Alright, so that was, that was okay. That was okay. I mean, could have gone worse, but it was okay. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and heal up as much as I can real quick. Not the map, the menu, you idiots. Stop pulling up the wrong thing all the time. So we're going to go ahead and drink a Hasi. We're going to actually drink two Hasis. And we're going to totally stop the bleeding right now. Just because I'm worried of what's to come. So the other item is actually down here. So now we're kind of like in an underground area of this place. Why does it have an underground kind of area like this? Who knows? Uh, Bonvaro wanted a good place to play baseball. Because they do say he practices in here. Uh, but you get out of there real fast. Now we're up here. Something's on six cents. Pull up this. And it's an item slightly to my left. So we can just go over here and... Deep breath. That is again for heart rate, which I like I always say, I don't worry about much. Six cents is going off. There's an item right in the middle of the room. So hopefully that's what it is. We'll walk slow. Alright, so sight's going off. So let's see, TV, yeah, that could be sight. Mirror, that could be sight. That place, that could also be it. All of those, we'll just mark them all. Just go into the bed. Find some soda in the bed. Uh, it was the mirror. And the TV. That was not expected. Both of them. Those are quite close. Right, so there's something directly behind me that I missed. I'm assuming it's the newspapers. There we go. That's right. This is newspaper four. Now, remember the barbecue thing? Is this real? Human flesh cook in the kitchen inside Chateau Bonballo. State troopers find traces of human flesh in kitchen. Did the missing Mr. Bonbal commit this atrocity? The hostel used to be an oasis for young people, but is now called the Bizarre Hotel by Scared Local. So, by barbecue, he means they're the barbecue. That's, that's great, isn't it? So, if we could maybe hug this wall we can avoid an encounter because six cents is going off and I don't think uh, there's an item in the bathroom but I want to say like ah oh, there is an encounter see knew it knew it knew it knew it all right well this is an easier one because he's nice and slow except I missed my first two attacks so I didn't even get a chance to knock him down all right there we go all right so I made a quick pause uh, it was for some personal issues, uh, but it's also good to do that because I don't know how stable my recording software is. Like I said, first time I did this, it screwed up. I'm using a slightly different version of the same software, which I'm hoping doesn't screw itself up, but I really don't know. So we're just, you know, better safe than sorry. I mean, no matter what, if it crashes, I lose all footage up until that point, so I can only hope that it doesn't. And I'm hoping reducing the length that it is will help keep the likelihood of crashing down. So you can go ahead and pop up the map real quick. There's an item if I keep going down this hall. Just the item it looks like. So we can go ahead and grab it. It is some nitroglycerine. Grab that and back out. 
All right, in here we got some six cents going on. Let's see, is there any items right around here? Uh, yeah, there's two items right around here, so it's probably not an enemy, but it still could be. So here's the first item, it's a relaxation CD. I know I cut it off, but that's because I can recognize what it is so fast, because I played this game so much, no. Um, Alright, this is the erotic magazine. It says E-roll on it, but I'm, I just call it that because it has like a cleavage on it and shit. So here's, uh, nothing. Usually something's there that'll attack you, luckily there wasn't. Is there anything in the bathroom? Uh, yes, there is one item in the bathroom, so we'll go ahead and make our way into there. Uh, I want to say what's coming up is what frightens me the most about this game. Not like a, I jump and get scared as in a, I'll probably lose kind of way. Uh, yeah. Alright, so here is a enemy that is extremely difficult, I think. I think he's right here. He is just, he is very durable and his attacks do a huge amount of damage. He is... Not something you want to fuck with, but you gotta. I want to say he's here. I'm not entirely positive. Smells going off a bit. How weird. What smell? Around here. Oh, either way, maybe maybe it wasn't here. I know it's in a bedroom, though, is what I fear. Oh, it's the toilet. Should have foresaw that. It just spews shit all over me, which makes me bleed. It's acidic shit. That's why, damn it. The shit's all acidy. And it hurts. So there's an artificial brain. And there's a ampulene. I didn't I don't know what those actually are called, but I know what they do. Alright. Can I mark the door? No. I I got all the items and six cents is going off though. So there's gonna be the guy who I'm afraid of soon. There he is. I might have been actually able to walk around that and dodge him. That pisses me off. Alright, so this is a big enemy. Like for me. He is hard. I just gotta do my best here. He, he used the same strategy for him as any other enemy, but he he just has so much life and his attacks are all really painful. Ow. I was hoping maybe I could use the chair as protection. He attacks right over it just like I do. The third hit can push him back, but he gets right back up so fast you don't get much benefit from it. Blindly attacking, that's that's an interesting method. Like, I don't see him, so I should attack. Alright, I'm actually doing decent here. I mean, yeah, I've gotten hit a few times, but I am doing decent enough where I probably will live. Alright, thank you. Whew. That, like I said, that... Those, that's the, that's the part that scares me, because I really... I'm lucky to be alive as far as I'm concerned because I, I've died there. I actually have died there and I've died to that enemy multiple times. He really is a hard one for me. So we're going to heal up. To 238 should be alright. Bleeding is at 15. Like I said, I don't usually worry about it too much unless it's over 20. Because as long as I walk, it's okay. If I walk too much though, the bonus I get for the time because I have 9 minutes left, there's no way I'm going to complete the level in 9 minutes. So I'm not going to get the time bonus, but that's okay. I mean, I just, I'm happy if I complete the level. I gotta stop running accidentally, though. I'm trying to just find whatever that was. You notice there's actually blood on the floor. I don't know what that was that I picked up, but it's used for an upgrade. So, there shouldn't be any items around. So, if I see a sixth sense, it is an enemy. Heart rate's a bit high, but I won't worry about it unless it gets over 150. It can go up to 200 without any side effects. And if it gets up to 250, you're screwed. So, sixth sense is going off. I did not mark this. This is marked by default for some reason uh, it's a discount ticket at the ER I don't know why it's marked like that uh, it just is that's that's the reasoning behind it as far as I'm concerned oh it's marked because it's marked circular logic all right sight and then six cents all right so it's gonna be both a fight and then something for sight I'll just mark since I got pretty much full adrenaline all right what didn't I mark Alright, so now I, I don't get as scared since... And this is another hard enemy for me. So we just gotta... I gotta concentrate here. 
shouldn't attack three times. See, three times is bad. Uh, two times you can usually get away with. One you always can get away with, usually. As long as you don't use it stupidly. Ooh, if you do one, one, that's close. See, that's if you do it stupidly. You get a stupid one, and then you get hit. Alright, so... It looks like I have a lot of health, and I really shouldn't worry, but what happens is, is when you get too low of health, you can't run anymore. And when you can't run, you're just like a sitting duck for this guy. Oh, I shouldn't attack there. I got lucky. I didn't get hit. Come on, push him back. Oh, I was hoping that I would push him back. That's why I went for it. It did not manage to push him back, though. Okay, whew. Okay. Now I'm gonna worry about the bleeding some because my bleeding is getting high. Alright. So yeah, bleeding's at twenty. That's that's like where is or is that twenty nine? Oh well either way, yeah, it's twenty nine, so I, I need to worry about it. Uh where is something for bleeding? Gosh should do good. Gosh should just clear it up to high early. Yep. And hit points. Let's see. This'll bring it up to about two thirties. Yeah, there we go. That'll be alright. The steak dinner and salad like that one does like five sodas or something worth. So that's why I'm holding on to those. Because I never have a use for them. Right, something for sight. I marked everything down this hall. You can't get me. Alright, and I'm re there's really absolutely no way I can make it in the time limit the way I play it. I just play it a bit too safe, that's why. But it's not needed to make it in the time limit. You just get more money if you do, that's all. So we can go down here, and there is a safe spot. Oh, thank you. Now, this is great. This is great. Uh, I actually feel like I've made accomplishment. Because the first, like, I've actually recorded this three times. First time I died to one of those uh, guys with the giant wrench. Those are the dummy mans. The, con the big dummy mans, basically. They're what they're called. I died to one of them. Second time I didn't, but then I, my recording software, like I said, it blew itself up. This time, it's all going good. Thank I hope. I haven't looked at the footage yet, but I think it's recording. Right, so we got two choices of direction. This is the ER. Uh, it's for like healing and being dead. You could revive other, like if other people are dead and stuff, you could revive them. And there's like healing. There's upgrades actually you could do here. You gotta spend money, I think, or something. I don't know. I haven't actually bothered with upgrades yet, so I really don't know. We'll poke around in those after we do the level. I'm, I know I probably would make the level easier, but hopefully I don't need it. Alright, so here we go. Now it's getting serious. Uh, let's see, did I, all right, I'm pretty sure I have everything I need, which is good. So, here's some words. My bo uh, talking about Jimmy and how great he is. In blood, mind you. So we can just kind of walk around. Sixth Sense is going crazy. There's a diary of number three of Bonballo. Uh, give me back my Jimmy. Give me back my Jimmy. And he just wants Jimmy. But it's just, he wants Jimmy. He's pissed off and wants Jimmy. Uh, I'm not going to read all of them. Frames were hung here. That's a hint. To not pull up the map. Gotta stop doing that. It's items. Items. All right. So we're going to pop over to testimonial. And that plops right there. Perfect. 1998 baseball champions. This game came out in 2001, so that would make more sense. And somewhere you put the trophy. There it is. Strange way, strange way to space the display trophies, huh? Maybe because of different. God damn it! Stop pulling up the map, you retard. Stop talking to yourself too. Whoa, well, wait, no, that's what a let's play is. Well, no, if you're good at let's plays, you get a buddy and stuff. <laughs> Me having friends. Ha ha ha. Oh, my computer screen's going to sleep because I'm using my Dreamcast controller and it doesn't sense those. Okay. Uh, because I'm using the capture card and stuff, it doesn't sense it. I will wiggle my mouse every now and then. Thankfully, it turns off the display before it goes to sleep. So now you can go up to here. Can't do anything, though. It's actually here. Look at that glow. Huh. That's suspicious. Number three. First base, Jimmy. Okay, 
Where did the baseball come from, though? Like, how do you throw it? Oh, that's him. He wants Jimmy. I'm not quite sure what he's saying, but he, he wants Jimmy is the idea. Uh, his health is infinite. So, call the helicopter. Uh, that's an infinity sign, yeah. You can't hurt him at all. So I'm just going to make him come over there, try to burn me, miss. Oh god, I'm going to get burned. No, I didn't. Call some more helicopter. Make him go over and just repeat until... Oh, I'm on fire! I'm not quite sure if you just have to hit it once to like start jumping up and down, but I'm always smashing on the B key just in case. Alright. Oh, I'm on fire again! Come over here, Bambala. Alright, here we go. He'll start. Hey, hurry up. Run! Run, girl! What's her name again? Something. Oh, Erico. Right? Erico? Come on, grab it. Ooh, okay, good. Getting burned, but it's okay, because I'm on the helicopter. Now. Now, this this is the uh, this is the frightening part of the game. Uh, not gonna lie, this part is damn frightening. So you're in these halls, and Bonbala will be randomly patrolling them. You have to get through them, basically. So I'm gonna kind of plan my route little by little. But he's randomly patrolling through here, and it's it really is just random. Like, he just pops out of nowhere, and then he disappears, and he pops out of nowhere. And it's just, it, it is frightening, especially with the camera angles. Like, you can hear him right now. Alright, I need to go here. But he could be around any goddamn corner, and the camera angles don't allow you to see around the corners. So if I pull up the map, it gives me just a second, like, where the camera will automatically reposition itself behind the person. So I can kind of exploit that to see what's there before I really round the corner fully. It really, and that it also keeps me updated about where my position is so I can make sure I go the right way. Like, I could have cut the corner there, but oh well. But, uh, it, it just gives you a small advantage. And right here, it, since it's so frightening, not even lying, to be doing this, I want the advantage so I don't fucking shit my pants. So then we gotta go straight, and when it dead ends, we turn. Because I feel safer just going straight. Luckily, I haven't run into him yet. That's surprising. I wonder if it has something to do with me. Oh, I hear him, I think, around this corner. Oh, God, I'm scared. F fuck! Other way. Nope, see, told you it's random. See, he teleports around. He's on the right side. He was like right on my left. He was literally right on my left as I walked by that wall. I am lucky I got by. All right, we're almost out of here though. Almost out of here and I managed to dodge him. Shit, shit, shit. He's right there. Oh God, I keep walking around him and he's like out of my view and I'm getting lucky. Whew. All right, there he is. He's at the end of this hall now. That's him. This is... So he's just, he's freaking out, because he thinks that's Jimmy, I guess. That's actually your friend. Uh, this is the funniest thing in the whole game right here. Huh, what's in this toilet? Oh, yes, it's a ladder. What? There's a ladder in the toilet. And honestly, I just thought about it. I don't know what the ladder does. All right, so there's one more item in one of these toilets. In this toilet, we got an artificial plasma. Interesting. Uh, let me, uh, what does that item do? All right, so I've ran out of time to get the maximum bonus. Like I said, I didn't think I would make it. Uh, what does that item do, though? Let's see, is it here? It makes the helicopter ladder fall times too fast. Ooh! All right, faster helicopter ladder. Can't argue with that. All right, so the bad news is, once you're out here, it's uh, more maze. I guess the ideal path would be either left or right. It really doesn't matter. They're about equal, I would assume. All right, so I hear him, but he sounds like he's like behind me, basically. All right, he's not here down this hall. So at this hall, we turn left. So this is a single hall that has no corners for a while. 
All right, so we could just follow it along. I'll still be pulling up the map all the time just because, like I said, it's convenient for avoiding him. Because the, the camera will rotate on you easier. There is a different camera angle method you have, like semi-auto follow, semi-auto follow. I just use auto follow one. It's the one that starts you with at the start of the game. It's the one I've gotten used to. If I don't hear him, I don't get, have to worry too much, I guess, but I still get worried. Like, I, I just do. It's a worrisome thing. All right, which way do I go? All right, I could cut the corner, and then I could cut the next corner, too. Okay. He's around this corner, I think. Holy shit. Nope, 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 nope. All right. Where is he? He's gone. Good. Run it. He's around this corner, it sounds like. Oh, I couldn't churn enough. There he is. All right, can I... Oh, shit. He got me. All right, so again, he still has infinite health. Uh, thank you for that ladder upgrade, though. That's what it does, actually, is it makes it go faster. One thing, though, you can get really easily turned around when that happens. you got to map up right after those. Otherwise, you might go the wrong way. There he is. I might build around this corner tight enough to... Yes! Ooh, thank you. All right, which way do I go? All right, left, and then left again. Or left, right, left. Got it. Left, right. It sounds like he's behind me, so I should be okay. Save booth. Take my picture. Whew, that's, uh, like I said, this thing is frightening. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stop recording uh, once again just in case of problems. So, you know, bear with Because, as I've been saying, I don't know how stable my capture stuff is. So now it has been uh, fixed up. And we should be good to go. Uh-oh. Oh, whew, I thought something might happen. It was, that black screen was a little long. All right, oops. No, don't want to go back into the maze. So now we go here. So Kevin. there's your friend. His name is Kevin. I remember that. Sure, I did. Warning. Impending explosion likely with the rise of room temperature. All right, so there's a gas leak. And pissed off Bonbar. I think he, uh, this is where you kill him. Yeah, well, you can attack him now. So... What you do is you don't get caught on fire. Oh, shit. I done fucked up. What you gotta do is you got him to get him to attack, and then you get behind him, so... You get him to attack, and then you get behind him. Oh, I couldn't run... I... This is where the running system kind of break hurts sometimes, again, when you need to run and you're not... Okay, get him once. I could just pop one in him real easy. Uh, I'm on fire again. By the way, being caught on fire causes bleeding. Ah. Come on, don't die. Oh no, I, I got this actually. Just beat at him, beat at him, don't don't care, just beat him. I got the stuff to repair myself. Beat at him. All right, good. Oh, that stuff will still explode though. See, told you. Isn't it beautiful? He gets to burn again. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. So, let's, uh, I'm bleeding hard, and I'm gonna just get all my wounds healed up and stuff. I got lots of gauze, and then I'll use a band-aid just to get what's left, and I'm down a bunch of health, so let's eat some salad. All the way up to 227, so that's good. And, uh, we should be good. I wonder, I'm going to check real quick. Out of all the other things, how am I doing? Let's see. Bleeding, I'm good for. Adrenaline, I'm good for. Hit points, I'm good for. Heart rate, I'm good for. Yeah, the only thing I'm not going to make so if I if I play it safe is time. Uh, this, game, this game seems like it's uh, having some uh, interlacing problems right now. Not quite sure why. Erico! Oh. 
Uh, she was asking if Kevin was alright. Worst place to be right now. Let's get out of here. When I talked over it. Yeah, you're our savior. I'll help you any way I can. You hear me? Yeah, I'm not sure how I'm gonna mix the audio for this though. I've never you're mixed crazy. audio on games like this. For um, games that are uh, capture carded, I've never mixed audio on them really. I know I'm gonna have to though because it's actually important voiceovers and stuff. Alright, so we could grab that and that. That's Amazon. That 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 is a shit. Uh, but we'll worry about that later. What was the other thing I grabbed? I don't know what that was actually. I didn't. I don't recall what it was, and I want to look it up. It was the protector. Uh, reduces two thirds from bleeding and stamina damage. Cool, 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 cool. I like that. I just had a thought. Can I go back to the save spot and save again? Yeah, I can. Oops. Cool. Yeah, I'll do that. Sure. Uh, because the next part, I had some trouble with again. I had a trouble with a lot of this game. Uh, that's one thing. I did have a lot of trouble with this game. But, so far it's been pretty smooth for this video, thankfully. Which I am... I'm claiming that's me being pretty good mixed with, uh... Me playing it so many goddamn times. So those things are exploded up. Something I didn't point out earlier is that in a couple of windows, all you see is water. Like, you just see water, and it's weird. Why is there water? Well... The reason there's water is because... He's a giant. What? 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 What the fuck? This game is made in Japan! Oh, never mind. Never mind. Question's gone. This game is really like well most god most games for the Dreamcast are from Japan actually that's just the way the Dreamcast was but uh, yeah you can tell this game's made in Japan because now it's just gone full what the fuck so now we gotta just hop around here well wow. oh I forgot what key to hit was uh there we go dodge key there is a dodge key you gotta use for this thing the problem arises when I haven't used that the whole game besides here. And I forget what the key is. So right now, even though it looks like he's smashing me, uh, I'm perfectly fine. What happens when you dodge is your heart rate goes up. That's part of the reason I never have to worry about heart rate. It's probably because I don't dodge. But here, yeah, your heart rate goes up. Oh, wait. I went the wrong way. You gotta go the other way first. I just dodge whenever I see attack. I don't care. If it looks like it'll hit me, I just try to dodge every time. Oh, shit. Alright, there we go. I managed to dodge it. When you're in the water, you just move really slow. Dodge just dodges no matter what. It's basically immunity. Ugh. Oh, I can't even, like, get myself pointed the right direction. Just gotta dodge and then move. So my heart rate is rising a lot more than it usually does. Oh, I went the wrong way! No, I'm an idiot. Alright, maybe we'll be using that load point. I got totally mixed up. Uh, I don't think... Yeah, you can't use items here either. Uh, you know what? I really screwed this up. I really did. I mean, I can't even move, really. Like, look at that. Uh, yeah, I, I screwed that up by going the wrong way. You know, that was so my fault. I know I said I would stop, but I am so close to the end. Honestly, I am so close. I wanna, I think I can load. I, I don't know how the loading system works for sure because I've never honestly loaded. <laughs> I've truly never honestly loaded. I've always just given up and rage quit, but no, I was so close this time. I wanna, I wanna get it. I, I just messed that up because I went the wrong way. I got a little disoriented and confused. So if I load my game, hopefully I get back. So I've really done, I really only played like maybe five minutes. Not even maybe even of uh, mistakes. 
Alright, so let's see. What was I talking about? Let's see. All right, so, oh, yeah, look, you can save again. That's cool. Alright, look at this thing. It's on fire and stuff. Okay, and then uh, over here, we got this. Oops, I accidentally skipped what it says. I don't know what it is. Oh, no, no I did that already. <laughs> I, I'm just trying to duplicate what I said. Is there any items in here before I actually uh, do anything? No. No items here. Alright, so if you notice, the whole thing is surrounded by water. And then, um, so if you go over here to the window, you can kind of see that. And the reason why is, uh, well, he's a giant. And this is in Japan. And all Dreamcast games are from Japan. And, uh, alright, we're done with the fucking repeating myself shit. You've seen the cutscene, so I'll go ahead and uh, see if I can skip it. I can. Frightening, just seeing his eyeball staring at you like, err. Alright, so he's a giant. Again. So, try number two. Uh, main goal, go the proper direction. Oh, I thought I was far away enough where that would miss because I was off of the... Come on, get onto the block. There we go. I can't get onto any of these. There we go. Alright, maybe it's this way I need to go, actually. Because the fork in the road, it confuses me. There's one way you go, one way you don't. Oh, I dodged too early. Come on, get onto the blocks. There we... Oh, come on. I just got back on that. And I can't even... Oh, I hate that. I just get stuck in the water. Like, I just want to get on the blocks. Thank you. Uh. Okay, I can't run. I just gotta dodge everything. Dodge too early. Oh, shit. Shit. Alright, so there's a chance I may have went the wrong way, by the way. I don't think I did, though. I might have. Honestly, I really don't know. And I'm gonna bleed out soon. Can I use items? No, I can't use items still. I don't want to bleed out. I went the wrong way. I fucking went the wrong way! No! Alright, so I managed to... The first try, I doubled back and went the wrong direction. The second try, I just plain out went the wrong way. Great. Great job. YB, are you the best? You are so good at video games. Alright. So if I managed to go the wrong way three times when there's only a fork in the road, that's absolutely terrible. The fact that I managed to go the wrong way twice with a fork in the road is terrible itself. But three times, that's just, come on, are you mentally, like, deficient and shit? Yes, but that's a different story. Well, I don't know. Oh, who knows? It's some stupid shit I'm talking about here. Uh, let's just do this, though. I mean... So far, I've had good luck with this, and now I'm dying on a part that was, like, no trouble for me because I went the right way the first time. I could heal up and lower my heart rate, but I don't think I'll need it if I go the right way. Uh, the funny thing was is I bled out, even though that's not what usually would happen if you get that far. Let's watch him pull the building apart because it's so entertaining. A boom! A rip, motherfucker! Dreamcast technology. Uh-oh. Oh. I thought I froze for a sec. Alright. So I go leftish on the fork, I guess is the best way to remember that. Leftish. Oh, I dodged too late. Oh, uh, my screen went dark. Leftish. This should be the proper direction. It's 
funny when you dodge it and you're literally right below his hand. Get out of the water. Get out of the water. I keep dodging into the water. Oh, I almost made it without getting hit. Look how easy it is when you go the right direction. Look how much health I still got. This is Shit. Follow control room. Can you hear me? This is control operator Jackson. I repeat, this is control operator Jackson in the control room. Our oil pressure is normal here. Average electric current is 52,000 volts. Generating capacity of 2,700,000 watts. 10-4, main control room here. Checking the interface now. Hold on a second. The pressure on the leg is a bit too high. I bet it's the right leg. Last time I checked, it was a bit rusty. That's all right. It's still within control parameters. So what are you planning to do for dinner tonight? I'm starving. I think I'll have fish or something. At this point, meat doesn't sound too appetizing. <laughs> yeah, we've got enough meat laying around over here to feed an army of rats. Help! Stop right there. This area is restricted to authorized personnel only. Please! I can't fight that horrid beast myself! I know. Isn't that cool? We spent five million dollars to build this enormous thing we call Bandball. It's super alloy skeletons controlled with advanced hydraulics with custom bearings and joints. You're looking at two meters of thick titanium for every bone. All computer controlled by me. <laughs> How'd you like that big sucker, eh? He's going crazy with Bamba right here. No. No, 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 we can't kill him, man. But we're in battle mode. So we have no choice. And I don't really know if this is a man or a robot or what. Because his head pops off. And there's a spring, it looks like. I don't know what's up with that. Don't know. No idea. Maybe it's explained later. Like, I really don't even know what's going on. Because, like, this is supposed to be, like, a, a crazy amusement park type of thing. So we got his ID card. But it's supposed to be, like, a crazy amusement park, right? What's over here? There's six cents going off. Something's in here. Oh, just some salad. His lunch. He'll steal his lunch. The, what, what, well, if he's a robot, he wouldn't need a lunch. So he's a human being with a spring for a head. Weird. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that guy. Uh, you know what? That bleeding seems like it's kind of bad because I'm jumping around so much. So let's just go ahead and gauze it up. Alright. And uh, how many hit points do I need? 150? Yeah, I got him. So... Heart rate is at, uh, where's heart rate? 140. I need to be at 2, 120, so we can go ahead and lower that a bit. Uh, adrenaline. Adrenaline. Deep breath at this heart rate, yeah. And heart rate has been reduced. So I should get a fair amount of bonuses. I could have got more if I played better, or faster. I played all right, honestly, as far as I'm concerned, you know. But I could have done better, as always, with speed. Alright, so here's the fork in the road again. If I recall correctly, I should go left. It doesn't matter now because I'm not getting attacked, so really, it's just just some running around. Did I have enough hit points? Yeah, I did. Alright, I'm pretty sure I did. I'm trying to like remember. Did I actually check that? I think I did. Oh, get out of the water. Stop splish splashing. Stop splish splashing. Yeah, I can't jump for shit. I went the right way though. That's good. It's good news. And that's really wrapping up this whole uh this whole thing, I mean, this thing, like I said, it's long. Um, oh, wait a minute. 
Oh, okay, yeah. So what happens is if you don't have his ID card, you can't open that gate. So you would just run up here and you'd be screwed. What you have to do is you have to actually go back there and use the ID card back there. So it doesn't make much sense, really. It's like, if it's supposed to be an amusement park, why would you have to kill one of the employees and steal their ID card? Are you not supposed to make it so make it out alive? Is that what it is? You're really not supposed to make it out alive and it's just a place to kill people? Who knows? Like, I really haven't looked into it much. Like, I just know what you've seen now. We're at about the same spot together. Alright, so that opened up. And we should be able to go through it. One last check to make sure I got all the bonuses I can. Heart rate is good. Clear is enough. Hit points is enough. Adrenaline is enough. Bleeding is good. So I should be able to get a fair bonus. Not quite as much as if I did perfect, but a good enough bonus where it makes me happy. Whew. That was a uh, that was something, man. That was what is that like? Uh, hour and a half long, I would assume. I mean, I've I've, I've done this in like a bunch of different sittings and recordings, so it's hard to know. So I lost three thousand for the clear time. But I still made a good 46,000, which is nothing to laugh at. One thing I'm wondering if, uh, when they reference money, I wonder, like, 100 million just seems kind of like a weird number. I wonder if it's, uh, if it's supposed to be, like, more in yen. And a really bad way to just remember this is a rough conversion for yen to dollars is remove two zeros. Really bad way to do it. It's the worst thing ever, but it gives you just a rough idea when you don't know the actual conversion rate. Alright, if we go in here, this is the, uh, this guy again. He'll take your picture, save your game. As far as I know, nothing actually hurts you in this area. It's all safe. So I played the game 114 in just, like, progress, and I had to redo a couple of things. So yeah, I would assume this thing ends up being about an hour and a half long. Uh, that's nice. Uh, but yeah, that's... This is another place you could go. This is a store. I don't think I showed this off, but yeah, it's a store you could buy things with. With all the money you got, you could buy a good amount of things. But you had a lot of things left over, right? About that. They're gone. Besides the upgrades, they're gone. The things you get stay in the level. Uh, you know, that kind of sucks because I had a lot left over. And that first level does really stock you with items comparatively, I think. Because I, I just kind of poked around in the first level of the next one. I actually do it. I will if this becomes a full Let's Play, which it can if there's enough demand. I made a really hefty, good gameplay video for this because it was a, a requested thing. But it needs more than one person to be a full Let's Play, uh, just, just to be fair to other people. But I'll do a gameplay for nearly anything that's requested. As you can see, this is just a, a Dreamcast game from 11 years ago. It's like, yeah, and then it cost me like 25 bucks because this game's slightly rare. It costs like 30 35 I got it for 25 because my local game store is awesome. But, you know, somebody just requests that, and it's like, yeah, I'll do that. The only request I really haven't been able to really request I won't be able to do, or won't do, is, like, mainstream games. Like, if you say, let's play Call of Duty, like, no, let's not. I mean, like, my main goal overall is to do every FPS game. So, eventually, like, we're going to let's play Call of Duty just so I can have that in my repertoire of I've played every FPS game for the computer. But we're not there yet. Right now, we're still getting through the obscures, which are my main focus right now. When we're done with those, yeah, we gotta do the Call of Duties. Uh, the only request I have not been able to take is one that was for some Japanese-only games. I, I just, I don't have a Super Famicom or the games, and it, it'd be really expensive to import them, so I couldn't do it. Uh, but that, but to make up for it, this video is an hour and a half long, as requested by the same person. So hopefully, that makes up for it, man. If you actually watch it this far. In which case, you're awesome. Anybody watches it this far, you're awesome because that's a lot of fucking time to blow. Uh, one guy talking to himself like a maniac and um, killing things and p taking pictures of things with the ah uh, whatever. <laughs> I'm just rambling now, so when I start rambling, that's when you gotta end these things before I do something stupid. Till next time, this has been YBR. See ya.